What's up everyone? Welcome to the Damn Good Day Show. My name's Ian Lenhart. I'm here with Miami's top chef, Mr. Chef Michael Ross. Welcome to the show. Howdy. And we're making some food today. We got olive oil and a dream. We got the induction oven going. We got our, our raw ingredients chopped. And we're cooking healthy gut recipes. Yeah. And with today we're going to do a short grain stir fried rice with some healthy choice vegetables. Short grain stir fried rice. Let's chop it up. Let's do it. To begin, we're gonna heat up some oil in our pan. Here, we're using olive oil. Once your pan is hot, we're gonna add our one tablespoon of both minced garlic and ginger. Next, we're gonna add our fourth cup of carrots, our fourth cup of celery, along with our half cup of oyster mushrooms. Now, we're gonna begin the process of sweating our vegetables. Now, if you're anything like me, you have no idea what that means. So, sweating vegetables is a technique that uses a gentle heat to soften vegetables and gently draw out their flavors. The idea isn't to brown or caramelize them. Instead, the mellow aromas from the vegetables should mingle with the rest of the dish without dominating it. AKA, don't crank your heat up and just enjoy stirring them veggies. Once your veggies have been sweated, add your three chopped cherry tomatoes. At this point, we recommend adding some more oil because the mushrooms tend to suck it all up. And remember, we don't want to get the pan too hot. We want everything to cook slow. It's worth noting that in this recipe, we're stir frying an egg, but you're also more than welcome to add any sort of protein, whether that be chicken, shrimp, or steak this would be the time you'd want to add it to the stir fry now. It's egg cracking time. Crack that egg and add it to the stir fry. We're going to do it like Bob Marley and stir it up and then add in your one cup of bean sprouts. Finally, it's time to add your champion of the dish, your short grain rice. Short grain rice is one of the easiest carbs for your body to process. We cooked it right in a rice cooker. We recommend about two cups of rice, but you can add more or less depending on your flavor. Lastly, we're going to want to add our one handful of chopped cilantro as well as a dash of bone broth for flavor. At this point, you don't want greasy rice. You want healthy looking rice. And you can never go wrong with a little extra black pepper. And huge shout out to you for making it this far because guess what? We're done. Time to plate it up. And remember, if you wanted to add anything extra like peas, snow peas, shrimp, chicken, beef, feel free. Remember, you don't have to follow recipes perfect. You got to spin it up the way you like it. From the words of Chef Mike, people eat with their eyes. So we're going to be a little extra here. And we're going to actually take our rice and our whole stir fry and put it into a mold in the center of the plate. Now we're going to spray our liquid amino acid all over the stir fry and for the plate. This is both for taste and for garnishing. After that, we're going to top it with our nutritional yeast, which is similar to a soy sauce, but is actually made with coconut oil. Chef Mike likes to garnish the dish with some extra bean sprouts, cilantro, and carrots. And with that, woo, we're finished. Let's check it out. Wow, this is the final product. This looks amazing. Let me let me just add a little bit of lime juice to it to some acidity and bring out the flavors make it pop a little more and something about just putting that in a nice format yeah it's a great presentation for it and and it's easy to give the right portion sizes you need to dig into this oh my goodness that's a clean stir fry there's it's not greasy or anything right that is incredible the rice is like perfect well chef you completely outdid yourself again this is incredible and it was easy to make yeah very easy it's and it's very clean, right? After you it's eat this. It's not greasy or anything like that. The, the bone broth brings everything together at the end there. And um, we got healthy choices of vegetables in there. Um, and then our, our toppings with the amino acid and the uh, nutritional yeast. Very good for you. So good for you. Tastes great. The company's even better. Well, if you guys want to check out this recipe, check out damngoodday.com. And uh, leave us a comment. What do you want to see next? What do you want to see the Chef Michael, Miami's top chef, twist up? We appreciate you. Like, comment, and subscribe to the page, and we'll see you in the next video.